What's up, Gemini? We go see what's going on with y'all for May 2019, okay? May 2019. If anybody wants to follow my Facebook page, my Instagram, or my other YouTube channel, the information for that is in the description, okay? So let me see if I can get some Gemini energy in these cards right here. I just tried to start on your all's reading, and something about it didn't feel right, man. It did not feel right, so... What do we got for Gemini universe? What do we got for Gemini for May 2019? Pull some Gemini energy into these cards right here. What do we got for Gemini for May 2019? Let's see if I can get a card to yell at me and jump at me real quick. It's the way I like to start the readings out, you know? Gives me a good little idea. Oop, there it is. I saw it. Chariot in the reverse. Hmm. Could be dealing with a cancer. Doesn't have to be though, like I always say. But whatever it is, the situation that you either are dealing with or were dealing with either has come to a complete halt, you know, or it did in the past and you're pretty much keeping the e-brake pulled up and it, uh, yeah, you don't really want it to go anywhere. We shall see though. Ooh, there you are. As soon as I split the deck, that's your card. Are you dealing with a soulmate, Gemini? What's the deal, man? All right, so let's go ahead and get five shuffles. There's one, two, there's three, two more, four, five. For my Gemini's universe, Gemini, May 2019. May 2019. Ooh. Did you accept the offer? Eh? I remember that. Was that April? One of y'all's readings a little bit uh, back in the past had something to do with a new offer right here. This is the energy influencing you. Page of Cups. Could be a water sign that you're dealing with, like I said. But Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Daggummit, dude. This is the energy influencing you, but the way people may be seeing you is still not really taking you taking the offer up, or people may just kind of be. I don't know, man. You're you're pretty chatty, so would people really be seeing you as not really wanting to communicate that much? That's a hard one to call right there. But people may be because this is the way people are looking at you from the inside or from the outside in. I'm sorry. From the outside in. And uh, I'm almost thinking that people may be seeing you as turning down the offer, Gemini. Turning it down. And on the inside, you feel like the two of swords. Indecisive. Can't make up your mind. All right. Each one of these swords is one of your twins. And I kind of feel like they're having a little bicker match up there in your head. Having a bit of a bicker match up there in your head. All right. <clears throat> See? These are your twins, dude, all right? There's some unfinished business between you and somebody in the past right here. Some unfinished business between you and somebody in the past. And your twins just can't get on the same page, man. What's the deal? All right, there's a part of you that's definitely, definitely like over this. Like, dude, it's awesome to get this weight up off my back. I'm so glad that, you know, that this is over, that it's done. Fuck yes, dude, I'm free, you know? And then the other twin is like, Oh, these swords hurting my back. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know, so it's very, very back and forth here. Like I said, you know, I don't know. For some of you, it may be like one day you're good, the next day you're bad, and it kind of flip-flops and alternates. And then for others of you, it just may be like all at the same time. You're happy, but you're upset at the same time. It's just like, eh, you know, and that's probably what's causing you to feel like this on the inside right here. Like this two of swords, indecisive, can't really make up your mind. Okay, so the person that you are dealing with right here could possibly be a Virgo. And I feel like they're trying to hide their heartache. They don't want you to know. They don't want you to know. All right. So here's the part that I, I, I think I'm going to try to figure this out a little bit further as I go. But... Yeah, whoever this is you're dealing with right here, I don't know if this is the new offer, 
or if this is the person from the past. I think it's the person from the past, okay? Because they have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So they're definitely not extending anything to you. And they're really, really heartbroken over this. But they don't want you to know. I feel like they're probably isolating and staying to themselves and trying to hide their heartache. Yep, and so are you. <laughs> so are you, Gemini. Queen of Wands, man. Queen of Wands is a very... Well, in some, in some uh, you know, forms of the tarot, the way I like to read the Queen of Wands is she is a performer, okay? So, basically, she could be going through anything in the world, dude, and she's not going to let you know. She's sitting there on her throne with her staff, her wand, like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I'm the queen of goddamn wands, and that's just like, you know, <laughs> who are you, you measly little peasant? <laughs> you know, but on the inside, she could be like crushed and just, uh, you know, so I really feel like, yeah, the fact that this came to an end or is not getting up off the ground, probably that it came to an end is what it looks like. All right. With that chariot in the reverse up there, it really bothers you. It really hurts. And it feels like time is standing still, dude, going so slow, but you ain't letting nobody know that. Hell no. Nah. Let somebody get in and play with your emotions and get the better of you? Shit. Yep, the person you're dealing with, dude, they ain't happy about this, man. Y'all are hiding it from each other. Y'all are hiding it from each other, okay? They feel like you abandoned them. They feel left out in the cold. Or even if they're the ones that turn their back on you, still, they still feel that sense of abandonment and anxiety and nervousness and restlessness and sleepless nights and all that good stuff. But again, here, with that Hierophant right there and that Hermit, they don't want you to see how bad it hurts. They don't want you to know. They're hiding it from you, you know, like kind of pretending that it's not there. Not pretending that it's not there, but just hiding it, dude. They don't want you to know. <clears throat> they do not want you to know, but somebody here with the energy influencing uh, you throughout this month, Something new, something new here. All right, I remember, I remember telling you not to turn down the offer weeks ago. Are you turning the offer down, Jim and I? Come on now. All right. Well, tell you what. Let's look a little bit more into the person that you're dealing with. Person, people, and or situations. External to Jim and I having the biggest influence on this reading universe. Person Gemini is dealing with. Person Gemini is dealing with. There it is. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Let's get four shuffles. One. Two. Three. And four. <laughs> All righty. Person you're dealing with, the energy influencing them is the Ace of Cups. Yeah, they want this. They want this pretty dang bad. They didn't want this to come to an end right here. Okay. They may possibly be ignoring you. Or, I don't know. See, this lady right here is ignoring those swords. Ignoring an air sign, possibly. They could be ignoring you or at least like kind of trying to close off to you. Uh, but I think a great number of, of you are dealing with somebody here who's ignoring the facts about the situation. You know? Willingly or unwillingly, it, it doesn't really matter. If you dig in there deep enough, it is your choice at the end of the day. It does not really matter, okay? So, they're doing their best to get over this. They really, really are, but I kind of feel like with that damn blindfold on right there, they're not really able to. They're not really able to, okay? So, I mean, this is this is very, very draining. Very draining, okay? To, to sit and try to ignore all the facts and try... You know, when you know those swords are there, dude, you know the facts are right there. You know they're there. 
okay? She's bound up by toilet paper, okay? Basically. That would not be hard to get out of. You know those swords are there, but it's draining you to try to ignore them, you know? So they do definitely want to start something new with you right here. They can't walk away from this. They can't walk away from this, Gemini. I mean, even if they already have taken the physical actions to actually walk away, they haven't separated themselves from this emotionally with the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So with this Fool and the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Cups, they want to do this. They, they still want this, man. They still want this. Maybe what I title this video, they still want this. We shall see, though, as the reading goes on. All right, well, now let's take a little look-see <coughs> at what timelines you're headed towards. <clears throat> what timelines is Gemini headed towards, universe? What timelines is Gemini headed towards? One shuffle. So this right here, I always like to try to make this kind of clear. That whenever we get into like what's going to happen, that's one of the biggest re reasons why uh, uh, those of you who are new to my channel, I, the last thing I do for every reading is give advice. Because you are not a slave, you are not a victim to any of the outcomes in these readings, okay? As soon as you see something come up that you don't like, you have the ability to change it, okay? Got that Seven of Swords right there, Gemini. Could be good, it could be bad. Let's see. Let's get five shovels. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Yep, I don't see you doing it, Gemini. I don't see you doing it. There's that. There's this again. All right. I do see the chapter closing, though. I do see the chapter closing. Yeah, yeah, see? The energy influencing the timelines you're headed towards is the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Okay? The Ten of Cups in the reverse. I just don't see you doing it. I honestly see... At some point, the communication coming in, <clears throat> but there's too much conflict involved. There's too much conflict involved right here. You know, I do see the offer being made, all right, but there's too much conflict involved right here. So you don't like conflict, <clears throat> Gemini. You want to let your guard down and you want to be cool and you want to play everything smooth and not all confrontational and not all messy and icky. So you may just... Do what you do best, Gemini. I ain't even gonna lie, I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. You may just say whatever needs to be said, whether it's true or not, or honest or genuine or whatever. Just a bliggity, 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 the prettiest words that can come out of your mouth to completely avoid the conflict and confrontation and put this to a halt, okay? That's what you gotta do, that's what you gotta do, I guess, whatever. Uh, but again, you know, this, the, I feel like for the most part, this the situation just wasn't too healthy, okay? And you're not really interested in putting forward movement to unhealthy situations. Could be a Cancer or a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be, though, like I said. And this chapter is coming to a close. This chapter is coming to a close, okay? So I definitely see whatever new offer is coming in. I don't see you, you doing it until this chapter is closed, okay? This, this isn't closed yet. It's not done. All right, so I feel like throughout the month of May, it's going to be pretty much all about looking on the positive aspects of things and 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 not really focusing on the negative and, and focusing on disappointment. And pretty much, like I said, bringing things to a halt. Still pretty restless, though. Still pretty restless. But it looks like this chapter is on its way to a close, okay? So, with all that being said, what advice do we have? What advice do we have for my Geminis? Advice. Advice for my Gemini people, universe advice. What advice do we have? What advice do we have for my Geminis? The star, all right? 
could be dealing with an Aquarius, possibly. Four shuffles. One. Two. Three. And four. Hey, kind of feel like you already know what you're doing, all right? You already understand everything there is to know about this situation. So I really don't feel like you need this advice, but just in case some of y'all's twins up there get to bickering too much and it could possibly throw you off track, uh, don't listen to them, okay? You already understand exactly what you need to know about this situation right here, okay? Do not take this any further, Slam the brakes on that chariot, man. Pull them reins back on them horses and go, whoa. <laughs> All right, you do need to move on from this. Some of you actually may need to pick up and travel a distance to get the hell away from it. Possibly, but either way, like I always say, at least put a psychological or and or an emotional wall between you and this situation, okay? Knight of Wands in the reverse. <laughs> yep. This is, I mean, this is divinely guided anyway. Like I said, I don't really feel like you need uh, the, the advice or the, the guidance or whatever. I kind of feel like you're already on the right path and you may know that. But yeah, move on from this. Don't take it any further. Don't try to figure out anything new. Okay, you already know everything there is to know about this. All right. And try not to to get out and party too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, try to keep your head a little clear. Don't don't get out and try to have too much fun to, to try to distract yourself from this. Keep your head level. Keep everything straight and cool. You know, I'm not saying don't go out and party ever, but don't do it like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Jesus birthday. You know what I'm saying? Like, just try to take cut that down to a minimum. Like, ground yourself and pay... Uh, very close attention to the important things in life. You know what I'm saying? If that makes any sense. Cool, cool. All right, well, that's your reading, Gemini. Hope uh, hope it resonated. Hope it helped you out. Uh, we will see how everything goes as the, the month of May rolls on, all right? Again, my Facebook page, my Instagram, my new YouTube channel, and my PayPal are all in the description, all right? I'm going to go ahead and hop on out of here. Y'all have a good one.